There are a few things I'm not quite happy about which I feel need changing. Number one is the beat. I'm going to solo the beat so that you can hear the drum fill, which is rather too busy and frantic and drowns out the vocal effect. To solo, I'm going to go to the headphones, and now I'm going to go from bar 25. And I want you to listen to the section here. So that's what I mean by too busy. A fill can be really useful to add interest and suggest the ending of a phrase, but when I put it in context with this vocal here, the vocal effects, you can see the problem is one of drowning out the volume of the vocal effect. So there are two things that I can do. Here's the first. Use this little arrow at the bottom and shorten the track. And you can see I'm going to just get rid of that fill. And so consequently, that vocal will be heard. Now what I'm going to do is copy this. So right click, copy, make sure I put my cursor at the place I want it to come in, so then right click and paste. And I'm going to leave that gap as well so that the last vocal effect can be heard too. Let's have a listen. That sounds good to me. Very nice and clear. The drum stop allowing the vocal to come through there and there. The second thing I want to do is slightly increase the volume of the vocal effect. One way to do this would be to go to the main volume of the effects track and turn it up here. The trouble with that method is that all the sounds and all the loops on the effects track would be turned up not just the vocal effect I'm working on right now. In other words, the vocal effect at the end of the introduction would be turned up as well. A much better way is to use automation. When we use automation, the volume goes up and down automatically in exactly the way we want it to. Go up to the top left hand corner and click on the automation icon. Notice that on all of the tracks we can now see the word volume and on the tracks themselves there is a white line. This is the volume line. If I click and hold the white line and then drag it up and down you can see that the green volume slider moves from right to left. So what I'm going to do now is click on the white line and when I do, a small circle appears. This is the area I want to work on and I want to make the vocal effects louder. So what I'm going to do now is click on the white line. When I do, a small circle appears. I'm going to click twice more so that I have a total of three small white circles. One just above the waveform and one just after it. I'm now going to move the volume up and in the middle the volume is going to go much louder. So the volume will go up here and then down here. 
I will now play the track. Watch the green slider volume carefully. I'm going to do the same thing for this quiet one here. One click before it, one click above it, and one click after it. Watch the volume change on the green slider and listen to the volume as it goes up and down. The last thing we are going to look at in this video is panning. Panning is placing sounds in the stereo field. To put it very simply, sounds might appear more in your left ear than your right ear, or maybe right in the middle. This adds interest and depth to the songs you create. In this example, it is best to listen with headphones on, as you will hear the effect of panning that much more clearly. The examples I've used are way over the top, but are designed to demonstrate what can be done with this feature. It's entirely up to you how you use panning creatively. First, you'll hear the tracks with no panning, and then the sounds will be flying from one ear to the other. So to add some panning, I'm going to go up to the automation icon, click that. I'm not going to add any on the drums because that usually stays in the center. But with the special effects vocal, I'm going to click on this little icon here where it says volume. And then we can see pan, click on pan. And so one click on the white line like the volume, two, three, and that's going to be very extreme, so it's going to be totally in the left ear and nothing in the right, and maybe for this one, the one in the middle, let's demonstrate what we can do, that one, left ear, this one, the right and let's say that one in the middle and this is the synthesizer so let's make sure we change it from volume to pan a couple of clicks and perhaps here we just have a gentle panning across from right to left very slowly. Let's have a listen. So that's demonstrated the effect. Make sure when you do this you have headphones on and then perhaps you'll modify from extreme left and right to somewhere in the middle so it doesn't sound really strange. But the secret here is to experiment, try lots of different things out until you find something that you really like. Once you've finished, once you're happy with it, save your work.